this has been and continues to be the place that people come up Highway 1 and they stop and they stay and they eat and they drink and they have a really good time. It's actually very rich in history. It was originally inhabited by the Miwok Indians, the coastal Miwok Indians. Um, then it was uh, owned by a man by the name of Henry Halleck, who uh, later would become President Lincoln's chief of staff. He sold it to a man named Jeremiah Blake, who developed a large area of this uh, uh, at Nix Cove. There was a plant for curing herring, and there were some small buildings. Uh, in the 20s, there were a couple of brothers, the Matkovich brothers, that were here. They owned a fishing business, and they had a sister, Frances, who married a man by the name of Nick Koyich. In 1920, they moved to this area so that they could help her brothers run the fishing business. The brothers ultimately moved, they stayed on, and then in 1931, they bought this land. And Nick wanted a bar, so after Prohibition, he built his bar and his restaurant. And they rented out the cabins and the restaurant, and they had weekend travelers in the 1930s. As you might know, it was kind of the boom. People had a little bit more time, a little bit more money. Automobiles were, uh, you know, readily available, and people were getting out of the city. So it was purchased by Ruth and Al Gibson in, like, the 70s. And then uh, Al passed away. Ruth kind of couldn't handle it anymore on her own. And a uh, famous restaurateur, Pat Coletto, purchased it in 1999, and he and chef Mark Franz redeveloped it and opened it in 2007. And now we have an amazing restaurant with a beautiful fireplace, fabulous chef, and we have 12 luxury cottages. Five of them are right on the water. You can probably see them behind me. And then there are seven cottages that are across historic Highway 1, uh, situated in a meadow of eucalyptus trees. The bathrooms all have marble that is radiant heated, so their toes are nice and toasty in cold mornings. Uh, breakfast is brought to their room every morning with French press coffees, fresh fruit, baked pastries from our pastry chef, and the bedding is luxurious, high thread cotton, uh, you know, you just don't want to get out of bed. Wood burning stoves for romantic nights, all ready to light from our housekeeping staff. We have a few signature dishes, of course our world famous clam chowder, uh, our crab cakes, anything really crab. We have an amazing crab mac and cheese that we can't take off our menu. I think we would have people knocking on our doors and uh, demanding it to be put back on our menu. That's really quickly become our signature dish. All of our produce, our fish, our meats, they're sourced as locally as possible. Um, we get lamb from Fallon Hills, um, from Red Hill. We get our fish from, um, and our Dungeness crab fresh from the tides, which is just out of Bodega Bay. We get our fresh goat for our goat, our signature goat meatballs from Rosati Ranch. And if you look at our map, we have a map that has all of our vendors that really showcases how close we are to the bounty that we serve in our restaurant.